My name is Lisa Stojanovsky and I'm currently traveling the USA. I thought that I'd share my experiences of seeing America's space attractions for those who might not get the chance to see them for themselves. So today, in today's space pod, we're heading to the California Science Center to see Space Shuttle Endeavour. Come on, let's go! The first part of the exhibit aims to create atmosphere and excitement as you learn about the role of California in both building and retiring the Space Shuttle Endeavour. A video was presented that shows how Endeavour navigated through narrow city streets in order to reach the Science Centre. Behind me you can see a fuel cell used on Endeavour. This fuel cell can power 115 60 watt light bulbs at one time. We have the wheels from Endeavour that landed on STS-134. And you're able to touch them as well. Members of the public can come up and touch those wheels right there. And behind me, probably one of the most important parts on Space Shuttle Endeavour is the waste collection system or toilet. On the table behind me, you can see a collection of personal items from the astronaut Garrett Reisman. Garrett Reisman flew on Endeavour on shuttle mission STS-123, where he returned on Discovery for STS-124. Garrett Reisman lives in California and now works for the company SpaceX. So behind me you can also see what would probably be referred to as the crew galley or crew kitchen equipment and it contains a warmer to reheat food in microgravity and also a water system that can pump either cold or hot water into certain packages of food to rehydrate them because of course most food that goes into space has to be dehydrated one to save weight because putting stuff into space is inherently costly and you want to take as little weight as possible because it costs a lot per pound and so Secondly, the water is removed in space food to allow it to last longer because the less water you have in your food, the less chance that microbes are going to grow it, live in it and spoil it. So behind me we can see the Rocketdyne Mission Operations Support Center which monitored every shuttle launch from the countdown to the first eight minutes of flight when Endeavour would reach orbit. This is the actual mission hardware used in the control center to monitor the readouts from the space shuttle's telemetry systems and make sure everything was functioning correctly. Now that meant that the people who built the shuttle and the people who operated the shuttle were actually in different places. So it's a short walk after you leave that part of the exhibit to go and see Space Shuttle Endeavour. You can feel the excitement as I'm rushing towards the door right here. I am so excited to see her. Wow. Hello and welcome to Space Shuttle Endeavour, also known as Orbital Vehicle 105. Endeavour first launched on May 7th, 1992, and her final flight launched on May 16th, 2011. She flew 25 flights and orbited the Earth 4,671 times. Behind me here we have a Space Hab module and this was the last Space Hab module to fly. This flew on STS-118 with Space Shuttle Endeavour. Space Hab modules are loaded into the payload bay of a space shuttle and they provide the crew with extra room to perform experiments and other activities. Behind me here we can see one of the Space Shuttle main engines, otherwise known as an RS-25 engine. This engine was actually flown in space, however not on Endeavour but on Atlantis. And you can actually see some damage to the inside of this engine's nozzle too. Space Shuttle Endeavour was named after the ship of famous explorer Captain James Cook, who also discovered Australia. So. Endeavour discovered Australia, and now an Australian has discovered Endeavour too. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed this experience as much as I did. Thank you to all the patrons who have contributed to the making of these space pods, and if you'd like to contribute to our space pods too, head over to patreon.com slash space pod. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash tmro. Stay tuned, and until next time, keep on discovering.